Hello Libras, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another love and romance reading for April 2023. I hope that you are all doing well. We already have cards flying out. Uh, we have the energy is gaining momentum and you and your loved ones are safe. So we have new moon in cancer. So maybe for some of you, you have cancer in your chart, but that is not necessary. I just want to quickly say here, Libra, that this reading may resonate if you have a Libra sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other major Libra placements. Also, feel free to swap the roles here as I could be talking about you or your person because I'm simply reading energies. And then lastly, if I feel that it will genuinely be insightful to do an extended reading based on what we see here, you'll be able to find the link for that in the description box below. Enough of me talking though we're pulling some oracle cards for the overall theme and energy and then we'll dive deep with tarot but with these cards you know i do feel like there is some sort of private matter or something related to the home and family and if it's not that like i said there's some sort of private matter here that may be within your heart on your mind okay i do feel like you are seeking out resolution or hoping for something to come in i feel like that is what is occurring okay i feel like the energy is gaining momentum so that a solution can be found whether you are feeling this or not we are in a major eclipse cycle at this time libra okay we are having a solar eclipse around april 20th and um that's going to bring in some sort of brand new long lasting change a new beginning because it's a solar eclipse okay but I do feel like there's something on your mind that it may be a bit private that you haven't really opened up to many people about, or at least you haven't like revealed all of the details. For some of you, you may have some concerns around your home life, your domestic life, uh, someone within your family, or the impact that some sort of energy is making on your day-to-day -day life or within your home, within your family, okay? But you and your loved ones are safe here. There's nothing to be concerned. I, I feel that the universe has your back. I feel that you are protected. And we only usually pull one card, uh, but two wanted to come out here. But I do feel that the energy is gaining momentum. And as the energy is gaining momentum to head towards a sense of clarity or understanding in a situation, you may be feeling a little bit nervous here. Okay? Or at least... It's like you feel the vibrations of that energy moving forward. We have confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. So maybe for some of you, you have Leo in your chart, but again, not necessary. But this is an incredible time to really step into that confidence, draw upon that deep confidence within. Because you've got this. There's no room for doubt here, Libra. You have this. And this is also an incredible time to get creative. There may be, for some of you, new projects or new beginnings around creativity, projects, and so forth. That's just for some of you. But whatever the situation is where you may be feeling that there are questions around your security, your home base, stability even, because this is very much the fourth house of cancer. As things speed up here, as things move forward, the key is confidence and remembering to draw on that power, Libra, because you've got this. Let's pull another card here. Disruption. So there was a bit of a shakeup here. Something that you may not have expected. This is equivalent to the tower in the typical Rider Waite deck this card here. I usually don't pull these cards in the reverse. However, it did show up in the reverse. And I am sensing that there ha have been attempts or hopes to prevent some sort of tower moment if something did not happen. I do feel a little bit of a shakeup or a bit of a shock. Okay, I don't feel like everything has come crashing down, even if you may be feeling that it has. We do have accelerated motion at the bottom of the deck. So there's something with energy gaining momentum. This something is speeding up here. And for some of you, just for some of you, I'm getting that there may have been disruptions to something accelerating in a connection or you getting some sort of answer. Let's 
pull a few more here. For others of you, you know, I'm getting two different storylines because this is a general reading. So for some of you, it's it has been about preventing some sort of disruption, okay? And it's it, it may have been feeling as though there have been situations that have kind of been pouring, you know, fuel on the fire. That's just for some of you. For others of you, you're trying to push forward and dealing with disruptions. Vibrational alignment for the issue, challenge, or block. So there's something here where there has been a lack of alignment. And this disruption that may be coming in may be some sort of major wake-up call. But I do feel it's kind of like trying to put together a puzzle and trying to fit that piece in a place where it's not belonging. There's There's been a lack of alignment, and I feel like there have been situations that have been coming up that have been revealing that to you. Okay. With the childhood memories at the bottom of the deck, this may have to do with something related to the past or history that you have with someone. This may be a past issue coming up or possibly even someone coming in here from the past, but I don't really feel like it's that. I just feel like this could even have to do with underlying um, a childhood, like upbringing or, or underlying upbringing conditioning from early development and so forth. You could be dealing with someone who has a lot of growth and they, there may be some lessons here. If there is a sense of like disruption, I feel like this may be to put someone on the right path, okay? I feel that with this disruption card, you know, if you have been trying to push forward, you know, that alternative storyline that I mentioned, rather than prevent a tower moment, Maybe for some of you, it's the it's it's both. But if you have been trying to push forward and you have been feeling resistance or kind of feeling like it's just not happening, it's because there's that lack of alignment. I feel the universe is doing two things here. I do feel like the universe is trying to get you to realize something here as well as put you on the right path as well as your person. I feel like there may be a shakeup here trying to align something three more cards here codependency addictions are affecting your romantic love life or romantic life new love very soon libra what's going on here religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so Maybe for some of you, this is a new person that's coming into your life, but that is not necessary. I feel that there may be a situation here where there has been a push-pull between you and your person. For some of you, there may have been some sort of third-party influence. But primarily because when we pull new love, this could also be about recommitment, okay? But with very soon, this is about manifestation. So for some of you, you may be wondering if you should proceed forward with this person or if you should go towards someone new. Okay, but I do feel like for many of you, this may be about someone from the past coming back in or this could be about renewing something here. Okay. We do have religious factors at the bottom of the deck. However, with this card, it can be really anything. Okay, it doesn't need to be religious factors. This can be any sort of influence or factor that comes up in your life that makes you ask, can this connection really work? Are we truly in alignment? And an example here is, for example, like you are looking to settle down and the person that you have been seeing, that you have been dating, you know, everything was going well at first, but you've come to realize that this person is just so focused on their, on their career and they're not looking to settle down. That's just an example. So this could be anything, anything. So let's get the tarot out and see what this is all about. I don't know why I got this, but um, 
If you have been dealing with a difficult situation here, there may be someone who may be coming in. There could even be a new or past person coming in. And it may cause some sort of disruption here. It may actually disrupt the person that you've been having issues with. If there have, have been, I, I'm just getting the sense that like someone here wasn't getting something. And now it's like the pressure is on. Either, either this person kind of gets it together or you're moving on. I feel like there could be a new love here for you. So let's see what this is all about. This is just for some of you, remember, okay, for the new love, this could be renewing this commitment with the person that you are involved with. But I do feel some sort of wake up call. So spirit, please bring in some guidance and clarity for the Libra Collective. Please tell us more about the energy is gaining momentum. You and your loved ones are safe. Disruption, vibrational alignment, codependency, new love and very soon so temperance just flew out here okay uh so this is sagittarius energy Let's see what else is here five of cups in the reverse page of swords in the reverse queen of pentacles representing your person i do like this the ace of wands representing you queen of swords so for some of you, this could actually be a new person that you are connecting with or someone where you are trying to renew, you know, that that sense of like a deeper connection, especially with this you and your loved ones are safe. There could have been this sense of um, I'm just getting like ripping apart something with the emotional aspects of this connection may have been disrupted. Okay. I feel like whatever is going on here, it's going to put you on the right path, okay? So in the current situation, what I'm seeing so far, Libra, is that, oh, and by the way, oh, we have seven of swords at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. So we're going to have to see what is up with this. We do have the wheel here, the wheel of fortune as the secondary energy. So this is about cycles. This is about change. This is about good luck, fortune as well. Um... Something is flying under the radar here, though, with the Seven of Swords that you may not be seeing, okay? There's a sense of strategy as well. The current situation is telling me, though, that there is a sense of balance, moderation. You may be dealing with someone who is technically a friend just for some of you, but for right now, I feel like there's a sense of inner balance, and this could be just within, or this could simply be within this connection, Okay, in the past, though, we do have the Page of Swords in the reverse, so there may have been someone here who wasn't fully speaking their truth. Okay, there could have been someone here who was a bit defensive in their ways or defensive uh, with communication. This is generally someone who can be argumentative, difficult to get along with, uh, a bad texter, a bad communicator, and also they can be very witty. The Page of uh, page of swords can be very witty but they can also be the type of people who can be charmers where they know exactly what to say to like pull you in but then it's like then they're not texting you or th it's just like their actions are not really aligning with their words right there's questions around intention that's what i always get when i see the page of swords and this could be someone who is um you know, communication is off in some way, shape, or form. Whether this person's defensive and argumentative, or they're not really saying much and there's mixed signals, but they could even be kind of like viewing your stories on social media and things like that. It's just like a very questionable, you know, energy. Um, but now, I mean, if this is where you're at now, with this page of swords in reverse energy, then I do see a sense of balance coming in between you two. For some of you, you may be dealing with this balance right now. Your person is showing up as the queen of pentacles. Feel free to swap the roles here, but your person is showing up as the queen of pentacles, which is telling me that there is a sense of nurturing stability. And just because it's a queen doesn't mean that you may be dealing with, you know, 
a female, um, male or female, it doesn't matter. I'm just reading energies, okay? But this person is very much focused on stability, security, and maybe willing to bring that in to balance the connection out. You are showing up as the Ace of Wands. So there is this energy of potential. Like, which way do you want to go here? There's so much that you must realize at this time about the potential and what you can really create here. It's kind of like lighting a match and asking yourself, what do you want to do with that? Do you want to light a candle? Do you want to, you know, start a bonfire? Do you want to, you know, you could even burn people with it. You don't want to do that though. You know, it's kind of like the potential is yours. What do you want to do with that match once it's lit? And so it's like you have all of this ahead. This could also be a sense of some sexual energy too. I do feel at this time, Libra, you are very, very much attractive. Like you're very much stepping. And I do feel like you're stepping into that confident power. Okay, you're drawing on that confidence. I do feel like a lot of heads may be turning and, and looking at you. So it's kind of like if this person isn't really like putting in the work, and making things clear about which way they want to go, you know, there may be others who may be trying to get your attention. I do also feel that whoever it is you're dealing with, you're very much attracted to them as well, but I do feel like you're, you're drawing in a lot of um, magnetic energy at this time. The Five of Cups in the reverse, though, as the challenge challenger block, which is alongside this vibrational alignment, I do feel like there is there is something happened here, Libra. Something happened where, you know, this could be reconciliation, like a full reconciliation. So I don't know if you were dealing with something here with a past person and things were like very rough and this person was defensive and kind of like acting childish and now you're like meeting someone new who's like very balanced and nurturing um if that's not the case then this may be kind of getting over what happened with this past person but there's still this kind of like lingering sadness possibly about what happened it's like i can forgive but i can't forget type energy the Queen of Swords is telling me that there, there's some sort of communication coming in. There's a sense of direct communication, looking at something very logically. Um, this could be communication, like just straightforward direct communication as well, but we need to you know, find out more. So uh, we do have air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as um, we have actually a lot of swords. So you could have well, you, you are an air sign, but uh, you could be also dealing with one or you could have more than one air placement in your chart, but that's not necessary. We also have Earth here, so that's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But with the Seven of Swords, there's something going on beneath the radar, okay, um, that may not be seen. We'll see what this is, though, okay? So what I want to do here, Libra, is I want to get some more cards out. I want to see what's really going on here. I want to dive deep. So we're going to do some investigating and uh, exploring and just diving deep. So as a reader, it's just easier for me to pull all of the cards on camera all at once. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And for that transparency, I'll do it all on camera. Okay. Um, but we'll do that and then we'll dive deep. All right, Libra, let's get into this. So I just want to quickly say that I did turn some of these cards upside down just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine, but I did draw everything on camera for that transparency. And we're going to be going through everything one by one. We're going to start with the cards that are upright, and then we'll make our way towards the ones that are upside down. And we're really going to just investigate, dive deep, and get all of the details. So in the current or incoming energies, I do feel like there may be a sense of balance. Like there may not be too much going on between you and this person. The Four of Cups, you know, there is this energy of someone possibly not necessarily like accepting the cup and a sense of like holding back. 
there may be a like not much communication going on, if any. Okay, but it may feel like things are okay between the two of you, but there's not too much going on. I feel like there's this energy of past energy that was not so fortunate coming into balance. But there is still this sense of either holding something back or not much being said. I do want to pull a few oracle cards here. Bound. Compromise. Grief. Healing. So I feel like you are in a situation or there is some sort of incoming situation here where there may be compromise in healing. But there is, like I said, with this Five of Cups in the reverse, there's still some sort of sadness or grief, but there's some sort of sense of feeling bound to this person. Okay? Especially with codependency, you know, there may be something, and this is just for some of you, where it feels like you can't just quite walk away or you're not ready to walk away from this connection, Libra. For others of you, this may have had to do with power struggles. And remember, this is on a spectrum. So maybe the, for some of you, these power struggles have been a big deal. For others of you, you may be feeling like it's not wor worth walking away from quite yet because you feel as though you two can work through this and you're still holding hope. But there is a sense that you two are, you know, working through something here, compromising on something, but there's still this sense of sadness and grief about some sort of situation. Okay, now in the past, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, the Six of Cups, the King of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Five of Swords in the reverse. So there could have been a bit of an argument here or someone acting a bit defensive about something that happened in the past. This could also have to do with possibly a family situation or this, this may actually not have to do with family. This could just have to do with some sort of general situation from the past. I feel like there's a stubborn energy here with this King of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Five of Swords is telling me that there's this like desire to compromise and to work through something. But with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, you may have been feeling like someone was only willing to give like so much like if someone's being defensive, how much are you going to get from them out of a conversation? So you may have been trying to like work through something or confront someone here, and you may have gotten a little bit, but you may have been dealing with someone who was being quite stubborn. So it created this difficulty of truly moving forward, and there's been this mental conflict. And now it feels like things are kind of smoothing out, but you're still dealing with past grief of whatever it is that happened. Yeah, with shadow work regret, summer. What's this regret about? Spring. Muse. Twin flame. So there could be a twin flame connection here, but that's not necessary. Um, you know, and if you don't believe in that type of thing, then this is just, I mean, a twin flame connection often brings in those power struggles because they're meant to put us through tremendous lessons and growth so we can experience that spiritual growth. Um, but I'm getting that there was, there was a lot that came up here and it was requiring someone to do some shadow work. And I feel like as, as they started to work through how they acted and, and so forth, there was a lot of regret that stems from particular realizations that this person didn't want to look at or acknowledge previously. This may have had to do with the summer months or possibly the spring months. And if that's not the case, then this may have to do with, uh, or some of you could have birthdays in the spring or summer or 
Maybe there's something significant. Maybe some of you live by a beach or you met near a beach, something with sand, seashells, flowers, okay? But if it's not that, then there was something here around growth, blooming, like blossoming, okay? Because summer is like that peak, right? And spring is all about that growth. Did the passion kind of die out here a little bit? There could have been someone here who was very focused on like creative projects or even just their own thing that they're, they're doing, possibly. That's just for some of you. But now I feel like there is this sense of moving forward, but not everything feels fully addressed. And um, I feel the block is about this like true, true reconciliation and balancing something here. I feel like there could be the need to ensure healthy boundaries with this person, okay? If you live with this person, especially since we were getting this cancer energy of you and your loved ones are safe, for some of you, you may live with this person and, and there may be things that occur where you feel like, okay, I have to protect my energy. For some of you, just for some of you, you may not be able to see this person at this time or there's some sort of emotional or even physical distance here despite like i said th there is some sort of talk some sort of compromise coming in oh, the block the answer is no Pride and ego, though, at the bottom of the deck. So this could have to do with someone's pride and ego that is really blocking this person's ability to come in and truly balance the scales and meet you on the same page and really get into alignment. So the answer is no pause. So it, it's kind of like coming into balance, some sort of potential compromise or knowing that there will be compromise here because there's a sense of feeling bound to this person and vice versa. I feel like this is a connection where you and this person just can't walk away from each other. But it's like, okay, something at the root of this needs to be addressed and it's not. And there may have been many instances here where there have been things that have occurred and the root issue has not been addressed and it's kind of just like brushing it under the rug. And so that's what this is like screaming to me the issue is, is like, there needs to be like a true justice, a true balancing of scales, not just on the surface. Your person is showing up as the queen of pentacles, the six of swords in the reverse, the five of wands and the knight of pentacles. I do want to know specifically more about the five of wands. Okay. We have the king of swords. the moon. So this may be something that is not necessarily being seen or there's a sense of uncertainty with what I'm about to talk about. The queen of pentacles is showing me, and as I said before, that this person is showing up with this nurturing stability, like this nurturing, stable energy. And it could be, if you are talking with this person, why things feel quite balanced however there's still this unfinished business okay with the six of swords and i feel as though this may have to do with someone needing to dress needing to address some sort of instability or insecurity this may be about getting out of one's comfort zone and really talking about something that needs to be talked about Alternatively, this could be someone looking at the overall instability and insecurity of a situation. I feel like there's still this sense of like moving forward. But again, something that isn't addressed needs to be addressed here.
queen of wands or could be a fire sign here. Um, I feel like with this unfinished business, someone definitely has their guard up. Okay. There is something here that is creating power struggles between the two of you that need to be addressed. It's kind of like, um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's kind of like, imagine a car. And just because you know, sometimes there are issues with cars and you, you'll hear the clicking and the popping and like the wheels having issues, but it's, it's like still chugging along. It's still like moving forward, but it doesn't mean everything's okay. Like just because you can make it to, you know, the end of the block doesn't mean that that car is going to, you know, keep going beyond that. And it doesn't mean that it's the, the car is safe to drive either. Right. I don't know why I got that kind of like analogy, but I feel like someone is feeling a bit like protective of some sort of like devil energy. Okay, so this could be about something related to, it could be anything that stands in the way of one's highest potential. This could be bad habits. This could be addictions here because we did draw this codependency card, okay? This could have to do with materialism, temptation, fears. There could be even someone here, if, if this is related to this person, okay, they may have their uh, guard up due to their own inner fears that they're kind of struggling with. But we do also have the Four of Swords. So I feel like, I very much feel like there is this energy of acknowledging that there are power struggles occurring between two people, there is still a sense of someone possibly wanting to come in and nurture the present. However, there's still unfinished business here that someone may not want to look at and address because there's a sense of, wow, this is out of my comfort zone. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, so there could be a little bit of like an avoidance here, but there's still this sense of moving forward. Um, I feel like someone wants to move forward. I feel like um, this could be even feeling a bit contradictory to you, and this may be confusing you, because you may have someone here who is like, yeah, I want to move forward, but they're not really willing to fully address the past in some way, tribe. Fall. Destruction. Let's try. Okay, so this may have to do with some sort of friend group here. Okay, this may have to do with a friend group, a social circle possibly. But this is about like surrendering to something here. This could be about this connection, but there could be some sort of third party involvement or influence and this is what you need to be careful with make sure that you know someone's not kind of like whispering in this person's ear i feel like um let's actually pull a few messages from this person specifically and how they're feeling about this situation there could have been an an ending with a friend, possibly, or someone in a social circle. I want to do the right thing. You're on my mind. I plan to reach out soon. Sorry about that. My camera shut off. Um, ran out of storage space. But let's let's get back into this. So. I want to do the right thing. You're on my mind. I want to reach out soon. I'm, you know, I'm sensing that, and we have, I don't want to argue at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm really sensing here, Libra, is that there could be something kind of flying under the radar here. Or there may be a situation that you are aware of regarding a third party, a friend group, a social situation, maybe even family, okay? Again, this could be you, but I feel like this person wants to do the right thing, okay? They're thinking about you, they're wanting to reach out, but there's something here where they don't want to argue, okay? 
They don't want to argue about whatever may have happened because it could have felt like there was a situation that was kind of like dying out at one point that was draining energy that could have even been destructive. I feel like this maybe had to do... Uh, this may have been due to this third party energy. And remember, a third party can be person, place, thing, concept, idea. It doesn't even need to be a third party person. It could even be like addictions, okay? Because we did have this addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person, it's like they could be strategizing how to handle something. Whatever this third party matter is, kind of flying under the radar, wanting to do the right thing. They may be surrendering here. And based on what I'm seeing, because I remember the cards that we pulled here, um, which we'll get into for the outcome, but I feel like this person may be putting an end to something here. But I don't feel it has to do with you. I feel this has to do with something else, okay? So with you... You are showing up as the Ace of Wands, the Two of Swords, the World in the reverse, and the Five of Pentacles. And I am sensing, because I want to know more specifically about this Ace of Wands. So you may be desiring to talk to this person. You may be desiring, desiring this equal give and take. You may even be exchanging information with this person and having conversations with this person. But there is something that you may not be necessarily seeing at this time related to whatever it was that was left open and made you feel a sense of loss or grief or left out in the cold, okay? This may have to do with a water sign. You may be feeling like possibly, alternatively, that this person isn't seeing something. Okay, so there may even be a conversation between you two where you feel like this person is not seeing everything. And it, like I said, it could be a water sign or someone who has Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in their chart. I feel like whatever is left open, it is putting someone in their head. Okay, leading to self-negative talk, um, ruminating, and so forth. And so, I'm wondering, is there some sort of discussion that may be happening, like this attempt to compromise, but feeling like this person can't see particular aspects or particular points because there's so much in their head and they're not seeing everything in order to fully make particular changes and purge or let go of something in order to go towards this victory and success of whatever this matter is. So this is why it could feel like there's still that lingering grief. But it's like this person, I feel like deep down they do know. Like there's a sense of unfinished business and I feel like this person... They may be gaining insight in a logical way with this uh, King of Swords into either A, the way that they do need to step out of their comfort zone and address something, or B, gaining insight into particular things about them uh, related to their insecurities or instability that is acting as a potential block and what is leading to these like power struggles it may feel like when you talk with this person it feels like a little bit of a stalemate winter and we've got sirens so this could be some confirmation but um with winter there there could be something significant that happened during the winter with a divine counterpart we do have divine feminine popping out here but it could be anyone this is a uh, general reading some sort of conclusion here and if no one has birthdays in the winter nothing happened here this is about leaving something icy cold out in the cold uh becoming distant becoming cold or it could have been this divine counterpart 
I feel like there was a loss here because someone couldn't leave something out in the cold or open their eyes and, and acknowledge something. Nostalgia at the bottom of the deck. Healing. So... Pride and ego. So alternatively, there could have been a situation here where you're still feeling this grief and you may be wondering, do I need to walk away? Okay, because you may be in this divine energy and wondering if this is getting to a point where it's just feeling really cold and there's a need to walk away and focus on healing you because it's like you were desiring healing within this connection but it takes two right so it's like if there's not going to be true compromise and getting to the root of what needs to be addressed it may turn into something cyclical i feel like there is a situation here where someone may have been and i'm just getting this for some of you but it's like someone's bad habits may have been playing out that really made you feel like a target like you know this person was kind of dumping on you in an emotional sense or even just I feel a bit of like toxicity here and if that's the case don't don't deal with that okay I don't condone that type of energy see where you're at my anxiety is through the roof my mind is elsewhere I'll make it up to you. So. My intentions are sincere. So you do have sincere intentions with this person. And there are strong feelings. I know I need to make a decision. But it's almost like you needed a break, possibly. Okay, it may feel like you know that you need to set some boundaries here. You know you need to make a decision. But you may have distanced yourself. Because you may be feeling like there is this like lack of alignment for this person to really show up. And I feel it's like you have these sincere, these sincere intentions here, which is why you're bothered by the situation, because you have had sincere intentions intentions and you may be feeling like you know it's really taking a toll you may be waiting for this person to acknowledge something to fully walk away from something because you may be acknowledging and knowing that this is the block to this connection okay the, the good news is is there is some sort of communication okay with the queen of swords the Ten of Cups, the Three of Swords, the, f the three main cards here, this is telling me that there is this sense of happiness and fulfillment, talking through things, healing, feeling really, really good about a situation. And there is this energy of reconciliation, okay? But with the King of Cups and the Ten of Swords, there is something that is ending here. But I don't feel like it's between the two of you. Because I feel like this is you. This is you and this person. Ten of Cups. Okay. Now, with this new love card here that I pulled, this could be... This doesn't mean that this is, like, a new romantic interest. But this could have been this external influence that may have kind of reappeared in this person's life or something that just kind of needs to be, like, cut away, right? But it could have been, like, a reactivation of energy. But I primarily feel like this is a reconnection between you and this person and something like manifesting here. Um, I feel like you and this person are working together to end something here. And when I asked more about this, we got the Hermit, the Tower, and the Hierophant in the reverse. Three major arcana. Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus. Okay. I'm sensing that... There may be a situation, and this could be you two looking at something together, okay? 
But ultimately, there's a sense of reflection and there is some sort of shakeup. So there, if there was some sort of like time out here between the two of you, it could have been that there was some sort of acknowledgement during some sort of like tower moment that someone is reflecting on. Now with the Hierophant in the reverse, this is telling me that the natural, not the natural course, but the traditional course is changing up. This has to do a lot with situations where it may have felt like someone was not like learning their lesson it's it's like a hard lesson either being learned or some sort of like major acknowledgement and switching things up this is veering away from the norm okay you can even ask a little bit more about this yeah so Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's a message coming in here. So I feel as though if there was a bit of a time out, and even if there wasn't, there's definitely some sort of reflection going on about some sort of tower moment, or this could have happened within someone's mind, this tower moment, acknowledging that something had to change here. There, there may have been some sort of misalignment regarding like one's beliefs, values, and so forth. And I feel that there is this energy of putting in the effort to correct this, uh, an attempt to address finally the root issue, because this is like major arcana. I feel like, because this is the two of cups with the eight of cups in the reverse. So this is about putting in the effort to disconnect from something and coming back around. So I don't know if this person may actually be needing to address something on the outside here that may have been going on beneath the surface with like a friend group or some sort of like underlying situation where this person is like resolving it because they're wanting to do the right thing here. But ultimately, I feel like this person or you, you know, feel free to swap the roles here, but there's some sort of initiation, some sort of message, some sort of apology. And this is really about like coming together here to deal with some sort of disharmony, some sort of disconnect that may have led to a temporary timeout, but now this person is coming back in with some sort of message. This person may even ask your opinion on something, or this may have to do with you two doing something together because we do have this Ten of Cups. But there is this overall like happiness and fulfillment that I'm getting, but it's going to be really about, this is really talking about resolving something here that needed to be addressed, fresh start exactly. There's a fresh start here. And this is about cutting away something that needs to be cut out. Yep. Awakening. So, So and we have soulmate at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm really getting here is that there's going to be some sort of fresh start here. There was some sort of dark night of the soul that someone was going through. And it's like, it's time to abandon something from the past. Okay. And this will be in divine timing. Something from the past is being let go of some sort of interference so that this person can refocus on the future, their big dreams. This is you two together, but it's going to be requiring some patience. Okay. Because there's going to be some sort of major awakening and recognition on your end or primarily this person's end. But um, whoever needs the waking up is going to go through something and there, there's going to be some sort of major recognition. So if there's someone here that you may be feeling like it's kind of like whispering in this person's ear or something like that, or you feel like there's something that is going on here, this person wants to do the right thing, okay? There may be something, I feel like this person is dealing with it, okay? You may not necessarily know about it, but I feel like the past is going to be let go of. There's going to be this fresh start that comes from this difficult time. And in divine timing, there will be this letting go and abandonment of whatever this third 
party, external energy, person, place, thing, concept idea is because there will be this awakening. And remember, this does not need to be a person. Um, this could be a thing where there is an external uh, party that is like influencing this person to go more towards something, possibly. But that's what I'm really getting here. I do feel, Libra, that it may be beneficial to dive even deeper into the, into this in the extended, if you would like, the link for that is in the description box below. But let's pull a, um, a word of wisdom card here. But yeah, if you'd like to join me over at the extended, the link is in the description box below. And in that extended, we'll go over all sorts of things. We'll dive really deep into feelings, intentions, uh, this person's next move towards you um what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know we'll also dive deep into some guidance and advice as well as timing for manifestation and when you may see particular things come up you know particular dates and so forth so if you'd like to follow me over there the link for that is in the description box below more sirens capella confidence and acceptance confidence is earned by looking at yourself without any filter without judgment so take what resonates here for you. Remember, it's stepping into that confidence, accepting something, you know, for what it is as well. But look at yourself and really draw on that confident energy. Be proud of who you are because you are beautiful. Okay. Don't forget that inside and out. Okay. Accept yourself for exactly who you are because you have a lot of beautiful things to bring into this world. This Whoever it is that I'm connecting with in this reading, Libra, you better start drawing in on that confidence more than ever because there's a lot of beautiful things that await you and you're going to be glowing. Like I said, you are going to be drawing in a lot of magnetic um, people and because you're going to be this magnet. Okay, so this is like the optimal time to focus on your manifestations and so forth. And you may start to see manifestations start to come in at a high rate. Okay, so yeah, that is, is what I'm getting for you. If you'd like to join me over at the extended, the link is below. However, if not, then I hope that this reading was able to provide you with enough clarity and insight into your situation. But uh, yeah, and keep watching for a preview of that reading if you feel called to do so. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for you for now. Thank you so much, Libras. I love you all so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. But there's going to be some sort of new direction that there's is going recognition going on because you may be acting as a mirror for this person to see certain things, right? Recognition and look, mirroring, like looking in the mirror, like you may be acting as a mirror. And it's allowing this person to like be this like this person is, is ascending something and releasing whatever this barrier is. Because if this person has issues with communication, they may like subtly reveal this to you. And then you may ask about it. And then it, you know, one thing will lead to another. Scales, there's gonna be some sort of offer to an alignment because there was a lot of restless energy around this disharmony.